Alrighty, what's up, y'all? Uh, let's go ahead and get this bike started. Start the video with a massive uh, like a douche. So, I just want to pop in real quick and do a tiny little review video on some uh, riding underwear, some skivvies, some ranger panties, boxer briefs, compression shorts. They are uh, from a little company called Belief. Not little company, they are actually a pretty large company and they have yoga pants and all kind of compression and activewear stuff so I decided I was going to try and give me some riding underwear because I am an all day rider at times and even though my seat is pretty comfy there are occasions where it's just not enough right so uh, if you ever see a motorcycler or a rider my motorcyclist doing like a <laughs> little stand up shake move they're trying to shake the old bean bags loose uh, if, usually if they're males but uh, Females do it too because though they are actually trying to get some airflow on quite literal hot spots. When we sit on our seats, you know, right down the old prime meridian, there is a friction zone. There is that what? Um, <laughs> I I'm sorry. That was just dude is backing up down the oncoming traffic lane. The things you see while riding. Anywho. So, right down the center line, on both left and right side of the butt cheeks, if you will, can be a high, high friction area. You know, you get heat, moisture, you start to sweat, and then after a while it just becomes uncomfortable. And if you're riding, and of course I-94 is closed, because why wouldn't it be? Of course, if you are riding and shifting position left and right, uh, eventually that becomes very annoying to sit for a long time so you have to stand up let the cool air flow over the old burlap sacks and then uh, you can sit back down and continue your ride so what these compression shorts do of course they give you a little bit of compression which is you know I don't I don't know the medical science behind it but it's supposed to be good for your circulation and blood flow overall and of course they have a wicking function and for us gentlemen I'm not sure if the ladies uh, shorts have this but there is a padded section of course the ladies have the padded section there was nothing behind me this guy could have just waited and got over I hate people so much I, I, I just I hate them and I'm really trying to do this video and it's been 30 seconds and I can't go without something stupid happening so anywho there is a padded section for the old giblets and then right of course down the middle line there is a longer liner for the dudes uh, you know and uh, it's pretty comfy huh Instagram selfie in the car passenger seat cool so it's very comfortable it's a nice thick pad the wicking material works just like any other type of uh, sporty underwear under armor or such where it's compression in both dry wick and cold I still don't understand how the shorts know when I'm cold or when I'm hot but either way they work and they're pretty cool so of course I will put the link in the description below so you guys can check them out if you want uh, of course you're not going to see a picture of me in my freaking undies in this video but I did you know want to throw up how they actually look a couple reviews say they run small so you might want to get a larger size I like tight compression source because I believe they're supposed to compress I don't want to just be swinging in the wind but that's me I like to have the old you know, FedEx, I gotta have to pack it secure, you know? So, I just don't want to be, uh, have compression source on for the title. I need them to actually compress because sometimes, you know, just like they say on most shipping containers, things shift <laughs> during travel. So, they, uh, stay where they're supposed to be when I'm riding, and, uh, it's pretty much gives me about an extra hour of riding. Now, it might not seem like a lot for a lot of people like oh great an hour but you can go pretty far on a motorcycle in an hour and of course just like if you were sitting at work in a meeting or if you were doing anything where you're not moving for a very long time we're not moving a lot you um you just get butt fatigue really you know there's no other really way to describe it uh you sit and all of a sudden you're like man i suddenly hate sitting so this decreases that or uh, increases that window by about an hour and of course I can shift left and right when I need to even though small motions don't create as much friction because the material slides between my pants where uh, cotton underwear when damp 
will start to stick to the skin and, and it will slide and then it will start to slide across your skin. So the compression shorts stick to me, you know, they don't move and the uh, chamois material of these shorts slide along the inside of my riding jeans. So I, I'm not going to say I highly recommend these. They are comfy. They're better than just plain old underwear. And uh, like I said, they give you about an hour riding and that's just me. This is a very subjective review because you may grab a pair and completely hate them. Uh, I suggest checking them out. They're pretty cheap, they're 20, 30 bucks for a single pair. I mean, it's not bad for what they're supposed to do. And like I said, for me specifically, they, uh, you might want to get a larger pair because they do run small, but I like the snug fit. Might not be so if I keep riding with them, but I've had them for about a month. And uh, they seem to be a good fit so far. Anywho, I'm out. I'm about to go ride, get some food, as is my normal journey in life. And I will uh, catch you guys later. If I can ever make it to I-94, because... <sighs> life. Anywho, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, forgot to do my arbitrary check me out on Instagram and then look at all my photos and such. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist of any youtube channel go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this content or anything else i've provided and i also said forgot to say hi to what's up and you know what's up y'all all my randos and noobs all you guys checking me out for the first time so of course i have to say it now because i forgot it in the beginning and uh i feel like that's the thing that i should do you know you got to say hi to your new folks can't treat them like they're nothing and of course my subscribers i appreciate you guys for subscribing and sticking with me through all my shenanigans and uh for the third or fourth time i'm done yapping Catch you later.